We only gonna tell you niggas one more time, you hear me? Heal up, yeah. It's the one and only Heal up, next time y'all living, y'all good, y'all straight, um, great. Man, bro, I got catfish so bad, bro, in high school. Had to dump the girl, man. I had to dump her, bro. But before we get into this story time, y'all need to go ahead, like the video. If you new, subscribe, man. Smash the notification bell, man. It's that easy. Make sure y'all binge watch the content. Make sure y'all follow my social media. It's all that down below. <coughs> Excuse me, that Kobe be going crazy. Man, this girl, bro, oh my God. I can't even explain how she looked. She, she was ugly as hell though. But we're gonna get to this story time in the next scene. <laughs> Alright, y'all, let's go ahead and get into the story. The story time, bruh. Y'all, this girl real deal look like bubble bass though. Y'all remember no more pickles. I was SpongeBob G. I'ma tell y'all how naive I was. Just making no mistakes. Stupid. I would not make the mistakes, no. I'm going to give y'all the backstory of how this happened, bro. So my homeboy Pookie, man, we was in band together. He was my co-section leader. So, <laughs> oh, this fool. This man, like, one of the greenest people, like, that I ever met, y'all. He's still my dog to this day, though. I'm going to tell y'all a little bit back about him before we get, get into the story time. He got to fight with this dude, beat the mind up and everything, because he was playing with his food. He got mad, because dude got mad he was playing with his food at lunch now, y'all. He just a troll, y'all. He was a little troll. So one day, man, this fool was on the phone. I ain't have a phone at the time. I, I didn't get a phone till I was like, when I buy a phone, like 19 or 20. We on the phone, my mama phone talking to him, and like, I heard this girl in the background. I like that. Her voice sound good. You know, bro. <laughs> like her voice sounded so good. It was uh like, you know, at the time I really liked the hood chicks. Like, you know, dang, like it sounded good. And then she was like, "Who that is?" And I was like, you know, Hubert or whatever. That's my real name. My real name is Hubert. Do not check me. I will fire you up in the comment section. She was like, "Let me see a picture." I was like, show a picture of me on Facebook or whatever. I think this was like 11th grade year, y'all. It had to be 11th grade year. She was like, okay, uh, text me or whatever. So he uh, he gave me her number. He told me, ooh. Girl, he hooked me up with his cousin. My thing is, y'all, why didn't he stop me? Why didn't he stop me? Like The girl, she went to uh, Bartlett High School. You know, I'm like, dang, I got me a suburban look, you know. The next day, we had band practice, or this during school. It's, it's during band practice, or during, like, band class. This mind told me some, like, what you finna do with my cousin and all that. Then my boy, uh, this dude in that car, he was like, who you talking about? The girl in that was, should I put him out? Yo, fuck, go on, I do not care. Her name was Mimi, y'all. He was like, uh, he was like, uh, the dude would call. He was like, yeah, call you was talk to her too. He was, and I was like, dang, for real? Like, like, I couldn't get a picture of her at the time. This was like the next day because I told you I didn't have a phone. I was using my mama phone. Like, I was like, how she look? He was like, she's straight, she's straight. You know, a little, little smirk on their face. She's straight. At the time, I didn't realize the smirk. I was like, she's straight, okay. You know, she sound like, you know. She ain't sound like she was ugly or nothing like this. <laughs> it's amazing how the way I'm going off this based off her voice. This girl was crazy too, y'all. She was ugly and crazy, y'all. So we texting and all that for like a few months. You know, I'm talking about y'all. This girl talking freaky. Freaky. I asked her to send me a picture one day. She sent the picture, but y'all know at the time, this is like 2012, like the graphics was terrible, so I couldn't really see how the way she looked like that. I was like, hold on, she might, maybe I got to see in perfect. I couldn't make out, you know, how the way she really looked from just that. And like, we'll be on the phone, she'll be like, yeah, just get done working out. And I was like, now nah, you got to do working out, you know. You know, at the time, I was a little, I was fit, I was a little bit fit and all that, but I ain't like I was working out and nothing. It's just coming from hooping and just walking through the neighborhood. She like, yeah, just got to do running, jogging. So I'm like, nah, so, you know, she a little, she a little fit chick, you did. I thought like, nah, she a little fit. Bro, one day I had a basketball game to play it. Y'all. 
We would normally text at nighttime. Tell me why this girl was blowing my mama phone, up, crying and all that. Telling some, I hate you. You made me sad and all. You know, at the time, you know, I'm a little, you know, you know, you think that's how I look related. You supposed to think how this how relationship supposed to be when you like young or though. You know, trying to explain and all that. You think that's how it's supposed to be. Blowing my mama phone up. I had called or whatever when I got to the house. She crying and all that. Tom, so I'm finna go missing my ex and all that. Tom, so you spoke with my boyfriend. Tom, so I love you. <laughs> I love you. You loves no bodies. Man, this girl was like going crazy, like crying and all that, yelling at me and all that. You know, I really didn't take her serious and nothing like that. Even then, I just thought something was wrong with her. I thought something was like really, really wrong with her. So moving on, G. She was like, come to this event that uh, her family was having at Crystal Palace. Uh, this It's a skate rink, y'all. Way out. It's way out, too. Uh, and she was like, texting me, talking to me, yeah, I'm a, you know, she texting me freaky stuff. I'm talking about, talking about speeding, gargling. I'm talking about all type of stuff. She talking to me, sent her a picture of my, what? I, I'm never doing that. Nothing to expose me, G. Like, I just saying, you never send that as a dude. Why would you do that? Not everybody. And so she just talking freaky. Like, I'm like, dang, where did all this come from? Like, she had like a lot of steam, y'all. I'm talking, she texted me this stuff while my mama was on the phone, G. My mama looked at it. She like, boy, come here. She like, what is this? I'm like, I don't, bro. I was not texting. I've never text freaky stuff. To me, it's like, what's the point of text and freaky stuff when we can meet up and do freaky stuff? That's not my style. My mama uh, was telling the whole family about this situation and everything about her telling some. She gonna spit and all type of freaky stuff. She like, all type of freaky stuff. So moving on, bruh, to the day we finally meet. I'm talking about other jump fresh, G. I'm talking about other jump fresh, y'all. I jump fresh to meet the bitch. You know, I stay... Uh, I'm talking about the Crystal Palace, y'all, from my house, it's a 30-minute drive. 25, 30 minutes. So, it's a little way. It's out there. Like, it, it's not even on my side of town. It's all the way on the other side of town, G. My stepdad and my mama dropped me off, and she was like, I'm going to wear a purple jacket. And I was like, all right, I'm going to wear me a purple jacket so, you know, I was like, so she can, like, you know, so she can see me with us so we can identify each other. I couldn't find her, y'all. I couldn't find her. I couldn't find her, bitch. So my stepdad ended up coming at Crystal Palace. He was like, this girl calling you trying to find where you at. And then like I told her, he's standing right there trying to tell, trying to find her with her. Then she come around the corner, y'all. <laughs> GG come around the corner. <laughs> Looking straight like bubble bass. Where is my pick? No more pickles or something like the way you say, no pickles. I'm talking about G. She came around that jump. Ugly as hell. Acne. Oh my God, this girl was. I ain't trying to be like that. But, bruh, I gotta be a honey. She was ugly. She was fat and it. She was fat, ugly. Just all around slaw, y'all. All around, y'all. You know, at the time I was skinny, you know, tall. I think I had good like 5'10. I was like 5'10. I'm 6 feet now. I was like 5'10", like probably like 190 or something, like 180. Oh, my heart is skinny. She came around the corner about almost my height. She was like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, oh, <laughs> she was tall. Oh, oh, big. She was like 240, like 230 on me. Oh, I'm talking about a big girl. I'm, talking, I'm still scared to say something. I thought she could follow me on me. I thought like let me not say nothing. She probably can beat me up a little bit. I ain't gonna fly. This was a big girl, y'all. <laughs> this was this was one of those hefty y'all see how hefty I am now? That's how the way she looked to me then. <laughs> so I'm disappointed. My stepdad walking off laughing, y'all. <laughs> Straight up laughing at the girl. Okay, we end up kicking it. Well, I end up staying. Uh, she ended up paying for my skates and all that. Of course, she paid for everything. She paid for the stuff. I didn't skate enough. She was like, let's skate and dance. I'm going over like this. Skate and dance? I don't know how the way I kill my cool, y'all. 
Because I couldn't, I couldn't believe the disrespect. Like, you coming at me looking like this. I'm talking about ultimately slow y'all. I didn't meet her mama. Her mama was fine. That was crazy. Her mama was fine on me. She was like five, three, five, four. Chocolate. Bad. Had little hips and everything, G. On me. Her mama was fine as a mud, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, she was fine. So I was like, damn, I want slick need to get down to mama a little bit. I was like, nah, that ain't the move. So we over there talking. She was like, why you ain't eating? Bro, I'm about to throw up. Like, I like, what do you mean? Like, I can't eat anything for days after this. Oh, uh, she was, I was like, nah, I got to call my folks, tell them to come pick me up. She like, nah, my mama can take you home. And she like, uh, tell me when you ready. I was like, I'm ready now. I was in this job for like 20 minutes, like 20, 30 minutes, something like that. I'm like, I'm ready now. And then her mama in the car, we riding back. She was like, so what you want to have with my, uh, what you going to do with my daughter? I'm like, nothing. That's all I'm thinking in my head. Nothing? Like, Nothing, nothing at all. Like I don't want to do anything with your daughter. I don't want to talk to her. I, I, I feel betrayed. Like this, I'm like, yeah, we just friends and all that. I mean, yeah, we just friends. Mind you, this is my birthday. Birthday ruined, y'all. My birthday is ruined. My mom and them come back home. They call me in the room and laugh. <laughs> they was like, y'all, was like, uh, Jude mess with an ugly girl. Right. If I ever get married, there's not a possibility I'm never getting married. Oh, uh, she cannot be ugly. <laughs> they must got to check her, bro. Like, you can't be... Kids. If I have kids, but I'm never having kids either. Oh, uh, if I had a kid, but she can't be ugly, bro. Like, she just can't. No folks just going to cook her, bro. I can't ever have an ugly girl food around my family. I'm not having one in secret. Uh, moving forward, bro, like, she... I didn't text her for, like, a week. Uh, something like that, like some days or something like that. Man, she blowing my mama's phone up again. She gave me the phone or whatever, and that girl calling you. Okay, I was like, hello? I'm talking about straight niggas in the background going off. Don't even put up on you, shoot you, beat you up. I'm talking about going off. Straight TG, straight tough guys. Straight thugs on the phone going off. So they finna come over here and beat me up, put up on me, shoot me, all that. I'm like, bro, what's going on? He was like, uh, man, you did, you did, you did make me wrong. You did her dirty. I'm on the phone like this. I'm not arguing with nobody on the phone. You know what I did while they were going off calling me all type of bees, hoes, all that type of stuff like that. I politely hit the end button. They kept calling. I picked up again. They still going off. End button. I blocked the number. This girl was crazy. Like, you was gonna really have them for a civic yup, cause I ain't like you no more. The nerve of some of you females, bro. I don't know, a little piece of information on a video. Might not ask my boy Pookie. I was like, bro, why you hook, hook me up with that ugly female? He was like, who? <coughs> Thanks, excuse me, y'all. I was like, Mimi. This man started tripping, bro. He started laughing in my face. <laughs> my ain't so dirty, man. Anyway, man, that's the story time, bro. How I got catfish and how the way I dumped the female. I had to dump her, bro. Like, she was, she, she more my type, bro. Uh, y'all be safe out here. Don't be getting catfish because that's not the wave. That's not the wave, y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next scene.